Our topic for today is about kinematics. Kinematics is a branch of classical mechanics which actually deals with the motion of objects. So in this video, we would be discussing terms being used to describe the motion of objects. And these terms are distance, displacement, speed, velocity, and acceleration. So let's go first to distance. So distance refers to the total length traveled by an object, while displacement is the shortest length between an object's start and end point. Basically, these two are the same. However, their difference is displacement would actually include the direction of the object. So for the distance, we simply compute all the total distance traveled. Okay? Now for displacement, we are going to use this formula, delta x. So delta x simply means a change in position. Okay? So we have x sub f, which is the final position, and then we subtract the initial position, which is x sub i. Okay? Now, we will be having problems, sample problems, after this um, introduction about the terms. Okay? Next, we have speed. Okay? So, speed is actually the rate of motion and is usually computed by getting the total distance over time. Okay? The formula for velocity is net displacement over time interval. Now, for acceleration, this is the measure of change in velocity. So, we're simply going to apply now the formula for velocity and then we consider the time interval of the object which is changing in velocity, okay? So, acceleration is equal to delta V or your velocity divided by your delta time, okay? So, now let's have a sample problem for distance and displacement. So, the problem reads, an object moves from point A to point B to point C, then back to B, then to point C along the line below. So, find the distance and displacement. Okay? As mentioned a while ago, distance would simply be the total distance traveled by the object. Okay? So, for this one, we're going to get first the distance from point A to point B. Then, point B to point C. Then, back to B then to point C again. Okay? So, the total computation for this, so we now have the distance is from point A to B, plus B to C, plus C to B, and B to C. Okay? So, that would be for A to B, it's 5 kilometers. B to C, it's 4 kilometers. Then, back to B, it's 4 kilometers, and then to point C again, it's 4 kilometers. So, we now have a total of 17 kilometers for the distance traveled by the object. Okay? Now, for the displacement, it is the shortest possible um, distance, or the shortest possible length traveled by the object. So, we get now the final position and the initial position. Okay? Final position is at point C, so that would be 9 kilometers. And then our initial is 0 kilometers, so we simply subtract. And our answer is 9 kilometers. Okay? Now, the final direction would be to the right. Okay? Kasi, di ba, nag-move siya from A to C, then back to B, then to C. Okay? So, the direction of the object is uh, going to the right. Okay? So, now let's have our problem related to speed, okay? So, Pete is driving down 7th Street. He drives 50 meters in 30 seconds. Assuming he does not speed up or slow down, what is his speed in meters per second? Now, in problem solving, we need to write what is given, then we write down what is being asked for, and then you write your solution by starting with your formula. So, first, we write down what is given. So, you have distance which is 50 meters, time, which is 30 seconds, and then we are looking for speed. 
So for the solution, we write our formula for speed, which is distance over time. We substitute our value, so we have 50 meters divided by 30 seconds to arrive at our answer, which is 1.67 meters per second. So let's say this problem has a direction. Okay, so driving down, meron naman pala talagang direction. Okay, let's say na ang hinahanap natin is velocity. So now we write the given. So we have now the final point which is 50 meters and the final time which is 30 seconds. Okay, since the initial time and initial points are not given, so we assume that Pete is actually driving from rest. Okay, so your initial point would now be 0 meters and your initial time would be 0 seconds. Okay? Now, we could compute for the velocity already. So, find velocity. So, we have now our formula here. Okay? So, solution, we substitute the value. So, 50 meters minus 0 meters and divided by 30 minus 0 seconds. So, the velocity now would be 1.67 meters per second going down or going south. Okay? So, we include the direction. Okay? So, lagay natin na going south or down. Okay? So, kasama yan. Going south or going down. Okay? So, now let's have a problem related to acceleration. Okay? So, a roller coaster's velocity at the top of a hill is 10 meters per second. Two seconds later, it reaches the bottom of the hill with a velocity of 26 meters per second. So, what was the acceleration of the coaster? So, we start with identifying the given and also what is being asked for. So, our given initial velocity, which is 10 meters per second, initial time, which is 0 second. So, um, wala tayong nil walang nakalagay sa problem but we assume that it started from rest. And then, final velocity which is 26 meters per second and the final time is 2 seconds. Okay? Now, we are looking for acceleration. So, using our formula, so we simply substitute our value. So, we have 26 meters per second minus 10 meters per second divided by 2 seconds minus 0 seconds. So, our final unit, our final answer is 8 meters per second squared. So, you might be wondering why we are using the unit meters per second squared, okay? So, if you could see, the unit for velocity is meter per second, okay? So, we have here meter per second, okay? So, since we are dividing, it's like we are multiplying our units. So, yung time natin is second, so it's like 1 that's 1, 1 over S, so it would now be meters per second squared. Okay? So, wag malilito bakit naging, uh, bakit squared siya ngayon? Kasi diba, dalawa yung second sa denominator side. Okay? So, next we have your kinematic equations. Okay? So, these equations could be used in different problems. So, depending sa given. Okay? So, first, kinematic equation, we have distance is equal to initial velocity multiplied to time plus one half of acceleration multiplied to time squared. Okay? So, another, we have the final velocity squared is equal to initial velocity squared plus twice the acceleration and distance. And then, we also have final velocity is equal to initial velocity plus acceleration and time. And last, we have distance is equal to initial velocity plus final velocity divided by 2 multiplied to time. Okay? So, let's have sample problems and check which kinematic equation we are going to use. So, for our first problem, an airplane accelerates down a runway at 3.20 meters per second squared for 32.8 seconds until it finally lifts off the ground. Determine the distance traveled before takeoff. Okay? So, we write now our given and find. 
So here we have our given as acceleration, which is equal to 3.20 meters per second squared, time equal to 32.8 seconds, and then our initial velocity is 0 meters per second. Okay? So since it's not given, we're going to read the problem. It says it is accelerating. So our initial velocity is 0. Okay? So we're looking for the distance. So, from the kinematic equations, we are going to use now this because we are looking for distance and then we have the initial velocity and we also have time and acceleration. So, we could simply substitute the values. So, you have here, so we still write your zero meters per second um the velocity, initial velocity, multiplied to time, plus one-half of your acceleration multiplied to time squared. Okay? So, first, we square our time. So, we have 1,075.84 seconds squared. Then, um, we write 3.20 meters per second squared. And then, 0.5, I just simply um, use a decimal. And then, it's now zero. Kasi nga, when you multiply your zero to 32.8. So that's zero, okay? So our final answer, so computing everything so that we will arrive at 1,721.34 meters, okay? So I suggest when you are doing your computations, so you directly input them in your calculator, okay? Hindi yung isa-isa na manual. Sabi ni mo, nahin mo na tong um, time squared. Tapos, ni-round off mo siya agad. Okay? So, I let the calculator do the rounding off. Okay? Para hindi tayo magkakaroon ng difference in our answers. Okay? So, next problem. A car starts from rest and accelerates uniformly over a time of 5.21 seconds for a distance of 110 meters. Determine the acceleration of the car. So, again, we write our given. So, you have time, which is 5.21 seconds. Distance of 110 meters, and again, as clearly mentioned, it started from rest. So, we have 0 meters per second. So, acceleration, so we're still going to use our previous formula. Okay? Kasi nga, given pa rin si velocity, initial velocity, distance, and time. And we're looking for acceleration. So, you may actually derive the formula, but for me, I have the convenience, for me, it is convenient to simply substitute the values, okay? So, substituting the values, so distance is 110 meters, initial velocity and time is 0 meters per second, multiplied to 5.21 seconds, 1 half, acceleration, so I simply write A, then time squared, so 5.21 S squared. So, substitute the values, so ano bago lang dito muna, is yung time. So, this is 27.14. Then, again, I converted 1 half to 0.5. So, ang natira na lang sa atin is the uh, acceleration and then your time squared and then the distance. So, I could now divide both sides with 13.57 squared. So, we are still writing the units for the final unit of the, ano, of what we're looking for. So, we have now 110 divided by 13.57 squared. So, our acceleration now is 8.11 meters per second squared. Okay? So, for our third and last problem, a race car accelerates uniformly from 18.5 meters per second to 46.1 meters per second in 2.47 seconds. Determine the acceleration of the car and the distance traveled. So again, we start by writing the given and what is being asked for. So our given is initial velocity of 18.5 meters per second, final velocity of 46.1 meters per second, and our time is 2.47 seconds. Okay, now we're looking for two values, acceleration and distance. Okay? Now, to get your acceleration, we're going to use the formula final velocity is equal to initial velocity plus acceleration multiplied to time. Okay? So, yan. So, we simply substitute our values. So, again, um, later on, I'll be teaching you how to derive your formulas. So, yan. 
Okay, we substitute the value. So, our final velocity is 46.1 meters per second. And then, you have the initial velocity of 18.5 meters per second. Plus, your acceleration multiplied to your time. Okay, sorry. So, our time is 2.47 seconds. Okay? So, we substitute our values. Ah, hindi pala. Nasubstitute na natin. Okay? So, after substituting, we simply transpose this 18.5 meters per second. So, we now have 46.1 meters per second minus 18.5 meters per second equal to, that's equal to acceleration multiplied to 2.47 seconds. Now, we arrive at 27.6 meters per second and now we could both we could divide now both sides with 2.47 seconds okay so that would be 27.6 meters per second divided by 2.47 um seconds our acceleration now is 11.17 meters per second squared okay now to get the distance We're using the formula, distance is equal to the sum of the velocities divided by 2 multiplied to time, okay? So, substitute lang natin yung value. So, we have 18.5 meters per second plus 46.1 meters per second. So, you divide the sum by 2 and you multiply that to 2.47 seconds, okay? So, I have here 64.6 divided by 2 and... Multiply that again to your time. So, 32.3 meters per second multiplied to 2.47 seconds. So, we have 79.78 meters. Okay? So, there are a lot of applications for the kinematic equations. Okay? So, tips or techniques. So, first, you, read, you really need to write what is given. Kasi doon kayo sa given magbe-base kung ano ba ang gagamitin na formula. Okay? So, if the problem says it's accelerating or decelerating, so, pag accelerating, initial uh, velocity would be zero. Pag decelerating naman, so, bumabagal siya, ang, ang final um, velocity would be zero. Or, pag nakalagay dun sa problem ay nag-stop, final velocity would be zero meters per second. Okay? So, um, kindly check your modules or kindly check your books for more examples or you may also check the sample problems on the link below okay so that would be all for our lesson I hope you learned something so I'll see you on our next topic bye